Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this navigation pane in this whole process and also how to get rid of these buttons in this last section of the process. So the first thing to get rid of this navigation pane is that we are going to go to our case type and in this process, we are going to select it and change the view for the navigation pane. So here, the template, I'm going to click on change and I'm going to select the standard navigation. Let's save this and that should take care of that. The next thing is to get rid of the buttons down below. For this, we need to open the flow action for that particular step. Go to actions and hide the default action section buttons. Save this. That should remove the buttons, but now we need to add our own button. So let's go to this section and add a button. Now for this button, to do something, we need to go to the action and create an action set. So the event is going to be when we click the button and the action is to end this assignment. So let's go to see to all actions, find finish assignment, click submit and save the changes. That's pretty much the changes for the sign up process. And since this was very fast, I want to make some fixes on the first stage. So first, let me show you the issues that I have detected. So remember that here we have this condition, this out of the box condition called never. Uh, well, I'm going to change it back. I'm going to use another condition that is out of the box that is called always. So this way I can show you what is wrong with this stage. Okay, the first two steps, everything is fine. Let me just select some rooms. Okay, so notice here that we have two rooms that we have selected and our room rate total is the sum of all the rooms that we have selected. So as you can see, 100, 200 equals 300. If we click continue, here is the supposed summary of everything that we have done so far. And as you can see, it's not quite right. Here we are only displaying one room one room rate of this room and the total is actually not correct because you can see here our total should be 300 times the stay duration which will be 1500 not 1000 so the changes that i want to make here are i want to show the list of rooms that i have selected and I want to fix the total. So let's start by adding the list of rooms in this section. So let's use Live UI, select any property here, click on this target icon to open the section. So here I'm going to add a new section, go to Data Display and Embedded Section. I'm going to make this section in this class, in the Work Reservation class and I'm going to name it Selected Rooms. So 
So far, we have been working with this section editor, but here you can see that we can change to another editor. And we're going to change to the full section editor because we want to add a table and we don't have that functionality in this type of editor. So let's click here, convert to full section editor, click submit. From here, I'm going to go to structural and select table. Here, uh, the way that it works is that it's drag and drop. So you have to click, keep clicking, and go and drag and drop it into this section. So now I'm going to click in the gear button to open the properties. So this table is going to be based on a property, which is room page list. Down below, I'm going to uncheck to display header and to display footer. So we don't want that. So for only displaying information, that's pretty much everything we need. Now we need to select the fields and add the titles to the header of the table. So let me begin by adding one title. This is going to be for the room type. Let me add another column over here. And this is going to be for the right. Now here is where the fields go into. Let's click here. And let's select the property. So the property is going to be type. And remember that this table, the context of this table is for the room page list. So that means that we have access to the properties that are to everything that is saved in that room page list. Now here, I'm going to select the rate. Let me click save. And here, let's submit and save. Okay, here is our section. I'm going to move it below select to tail. I'm going to get rid of room type and room rate. I'm going to add a caption to selected rooms to this section. So let's click on edit. Let's go here in general. Let's add a label caption. And the caption is going to be selected rooms. And also, I want the select hotel field, the label, to be the same as this one. So I want, so I want it to say selected hotel. Now let's see how it looks. Okay, that's fine for now. The next thing is the total. So remember, this total is a property. And that property, we can find it in the App Explorer. Reservation, data model, property, and this is the property. But remember that the way that we are calculating this field is with a declare expression. This one, it has to have the same name. So this is our field. This is our declare expression that we want to modify. So here we want to change this to the sum of all the rates from the selected rooms. And what property is that? Let's go back. It's room rate total. The name is room rate total. Okay, let's refresh. So if you don't um, change these fields, right now that you are running a case, it won't 
it won't update the declare expression so make sure to remove one and you can add it again if you want but that's just because we are running the case so it won't update so now as you can see the total is every is working and that's well that's pretty much it what i wanted to fix right now now what i plan for the next video is to start talking about data relationships we have our hotels and we have our rooms and it's not really realistic to think that all of our hotels will have the five room types that we have added and the same prices and the same capacity so what we will end up in the next video is that depending on the hotel that the user selects it will have its own room types so that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching see you in the next one bye